Okay guys, uh, so I'm going to do a real quick update. I'm, I didn't get um, a video out on Tuesday like I said I would. Uh, today I went down to the courts and filed my gender marker change. I've been kind of tossing and turning, you know, um, asking myself, is it necessary for me to change my gender with the courts? And the reason I've been asking myself this because, number one, uh, in California, as long as you have a therapist letter, you can get your gender marker changed um, on your driver's license along with your name change. Number two, my retirement plan, uh, workers' comp, all them changed my name and gender without any court papers. So my insurance actually says male. <coughs> So I was kind of, you know, thinking, should I do this? Do I need to? Because here in California, they upped the prices and last August. So I paid $3.95 to get my name changed. And this morning I had to write a $435 check for my gender marker. Now here's the thing. I had a letter from my doctor showing that I had a hysterectomy. And I've talked about this in my in my um, earlier vids regarding name and gender change. But in case you don't want to go back to that, uh, in California, the affidavit, the affidavit that they want from the doctor showing your reassignment surgery, it states that you have to have this reassignment surgery while in, um, while in counseling, basically. Uh, it's not the, that's not word for word, but in the process of in counseling had reassignment surgery. My hysterectomy, although it was in the process for me, I was not in counseling. So the clerk told me I could try, but I did not want to uh, be in there and in front of everybody sit and try to show the judge that it wasn't an official transition but it was, I went for the surgery because it was a transition to get me closer for me. So I chose to opt out of the gender marker at that time. And here's another thing. I went to the Hall of Records. Tony and I are legally married in California in that window where uh, gay couples could get married before the Prop 8 took into effect or, or whatever they did. I went down there and showed them my name change and said, here's the thing, uh, do you show gender anywhere? And they said, no. I said, okay, here's the thing, you know, next year we're going to be filing federal taxes together. Is there, in your system, does it go into the federal system? And they said, yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, well, why don't you have gender? You know, especially with the gay couples being able to marry and stuff now. I guess they think just by name they can tell. But Tony is T-O-N-I. You know, I don't know. Well, <clears throat> finally she went, and I went to the, they sent me to the Hall of Records because our ceremony was public. They have confidential uh, marriages too, I had no idea. You learn something new every day, right? So I went down to the Hall of Records and they understood my situation. They gave me a, gave me a form I have to fill out and I have to send it to Sacramento and their records don't show male or female. But she did say, we will not change the actual marriage license. They just will make an amendment to it. And I'm like, what? And I'm just looking at her probably with this puzzled look and she goes, I know, I don't understand why they can't just issue a new marriage license, but that's what they do. This is an amendment to your original. It'll say AKA. And I'm like, well, should we just get remarried? And she looked at me and she goes, I mean, legally, can we do that? And she said, I don't know. <laughs> just like, you know, and I know, I know a lot of this stuff is new because it's, it's, we are hitting nas national wise about transgender health, transgender health care, transgender uh, transitions. Uh, their health care through that, their psychological care through that, uh, they're finding teenagers who are transgender and don't know 
what they are and it's causing deep depression. So all this stuff is starting to really come alive. The LBGTQ community and has really opened up doors for the transgender community to be recognized. And right now, it all goes in steps. That's just the way I look at it. Gays and lesbians are getting close to being able to marry nationally. It, you know, people aren't even tripping on it. It's like I told the lady at the Hall of Records. I said, we have been together 16 years, May. We've been married. We got unofficially married a year after we got together. Then we got officially married uh, in 2008. And then I'm going through this, and I just want to make sure it's all good, you know, because we're not divorcing. There is a different name. Da -da 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 -da. So she said, I don't know. So that's something here in California, you know, if you're if you're looking at name and gender change, and you haven't started anything yet, and you're going to be close to getting your your surgery. I didn't want to wait. Uh, I knew Tony and I could save and put the money up for the gender marker. I waited so long because I did not want to put the money out. But I finally decided that um, it was necessary for me. But anyway, if you are in the process or are thinking about it, you're in the beginning of your transition, uh, think about if, you, if you're close to, within six months or so of you starting T, if you're gonna have surgery, <clears throat> it might just, I mean, you can, as far as Californians, you can get your therapist letter and get your driver's license changed uh, as long as I think you have, you have to go to court for your name change. I'm not sure. Well, that's a good question, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I think you do. I'm not sure. Some other guys maybe can tell you in my comments uh, what they had to do. But anyway, uh, just kind of maybe think about it and because they have a form now that says name and gender, they're petitioning the court for name and gender change. Before they were two separate things, so they still were going to cost me around $800 regardless. Now they've redone it and they come out with a new petition that says name and gender. So that's only one uh, filing fee. <sighs> now that I've got that out. I have been running around ragged, you know, this morning with all this stuff, trying to clear everything up. Um, I don't know if I have to appear for court for my gender marker. I've got to read the, the paperwork in there. Because she told me just to check back in five days. I, I don't know that. But anyway, uh, I'm doing pretty good. Um, as far, let me go back to the gender marker, why I did it too. I talked with my mom and said, Mom, would it bother you if I changed my birth certificate? And she said, no, you have the original birth certificate for yourself. That's who you were when you were born. She says, but that's not who you are now. And she says, it won't bother me. And so that was another uh, thing for me to move forward on gender marker change. So <clears throat> another thing was too, is Tony and I really get swamped hard on taxes. My income is not taxable. But her income is, and because she cannot file head of household uh, on the federal, they take three quarters of her. I'm telling you, uh, it's ridiculous. I, I was so pissed off, and we've got a good tax guy. I mean, we pay almost $200 to have our taxes done. He's He's been doing it for a while, and uh, he's pretty good. And he told me, you know, next year you guys should do a lot better. Uh, because you're going to get your gender marker changed. So there's a, another reason just to do it, you know. Um, <clears throat> but everything's going good. I'm still painting the house. I've taken a couple days off. Uh, for those who have me as Facebook, you've seen some pictures of my work. And like I say, I work until about 3 o'clock. I start about 10 out there. And up and down those ladders, it just kills me. And um, so by 3 o'clock, I'm done and pretty much in a recliner the rest of the night. And poor Tony. Yesterday I conked out at 4.30 on her, but you know, I woke back up. But that's just the way my life is right now. Uh, <clears throat> real quick, I've been talking to you guys about, <clears throat> I don't know if I've talked on my private video, but on the public video I wanna say, for those of you who are 
uh, not mobile uh, fully or partially you know have mobility issues uh, myself I have like right now standing here talking to you my feet are burning that's just what I deal with every day you'll see me doing this a lot of times in my videos it's because I'm shifting weight off and on my feet uh, I started doing push-ups off of my bathroom counters or my kitchen counters whenever I think about doing them. I only do them one a day. Sometimes I don't do them every day. But I've only, I started out at 15 up and 15 back. And so that's 30 push ups. And what a change. I mean, my chest, I don't know if this shows it, but those are not boobs. Those, that's all my pec muscles. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. And my traps are really starting to cut. And so I upped my, uh, when that got pretty easy for me, not easy, easy, but when, when I felt like I could push myself a little bit more, I'm doing 20 up and 20 back now. Now there is a challenge out there of one of the guys that I liked on Facebook or YouTube, uh, Peter Carvel. If any of you have seen his stuff, I think he's six pack, my six pack or something like that dot com. He gives all home exercises. Some of them are very low cardio. Some of them are very high cardio. Depends on what you want to do. He gives upper body. He gives pecs and shoulders only. You know, he does everything. The last one I got was where you go down for your push up and you don't touch anything and you hold it for five seconds and then you go back up and you come back down hold it for five seconds and you do ten up and ten back uh, again the reason why I do them off of the countertops is because I really can't arch my foot in that position on my toes uh, when you're down and plus it, it's a confidence thing too I've got so much weight in my gut I don't even know if I can do one push up so at least I'm getting there I will slowly try to go lower and lower uh, coffee table but again my feet dictate what I can and cannot do so that's what's going on with me guys uh, I've got some more changes going on Tony noticed side view that my face is really starting to masculinize and uh, my veins in my hands are um, I love the muscle mass that I don't hardly have to really put out a lot of effort and I'm building up uh, my thighs my quads and my hams I can feel are getting harder my calves are getting harder so I'm kind of excited once I get through this valley fever uh, to start really doing some home exercises first I won't hit the gym until I'm fully recovered I do not want a setback of any kind so that's what's going on with me I'll put these two little videos together make one and I'll post them as soon as I can. You guys take it one day at a time and make your journey as simple as possible. We'll see you later, guys. Bye. Oh, look at my scrub. Hmm? You guys couldn't see in the... Let's see. Yeah. Now, I might be a lot hairier than this, but that difluxin that I'm on for the Valley Fever, it, I'm losing hair all over the place. Uh, my shoulders are gone, my chest hair is hardly anything, my stomach hair is kind of gone down, my leg hair is gone down, so this is me, scruffy. Alright guys, take care.